Good afternoon, uh, everybody, and you're joining the information session by the Master Biomedical Sciences. And this afternoon, uh, we will tell you uh, some uh, important things and information on our master program here at the LUMC in Leiden. My name is uh, Dr. Yolanda van der Zee. I'm the program director, and I'm joined this afternoon by my colleague Hester Bootsma. She's the program advisor. And together, we will talk you through uh, some information uh, on our master program. So, what are the aims of our program? They are very broad and actually we would like you to think about and investigate your future career perspectives. We think that is top priority to get you there where you would like to go. And to do that, we offer you opportunities to look in and outside academics, offer you also opportunities to perform research that is related to the maintenance of health and prevention of disease. Very broad subjects, of course, in biomedical sciences. Um, train you to address scientific and societal challenges in the interdisciplinary field of biomedical sciences and, very important, give you a set of skills suitable for a wide range of career opportunities, not only in biomedical research, but also, for example, in industry, policy making, communication and or education. So we have a very uh, uh, important uh, message to you that we would like to give you a lot of skills and knowledge for your future career. Uh, and biomedical sciences, well, your backgrounds, uh, bachelor programs already have, you know, you taught you that, that uh, there's so much going on in the life sciences and in biomedical sciences. And the very important thing is that it's interdisciplinary. So what are we looking at? We can focus on questions regarding the healthy as well as the diseased state in humans. But we do that by studying processes at various levels. So molecules, cells, organs, humans, and even on population level. So it's a great uh, opportunity to study uh, healthy and disease states of humans. And we combine therefore elements from biology, chemistry, pharmacy, physics, and mathematics. And we combine that with the medical science. So it's a very exciting uh, field. And of course, uh, we know there's a lot of going on at the moment uh, also in our society. Um, we, of course, uh, uh, made also a short list with some buzzwords and, uh, of course, uh, the viral infections, uh, I mean, that popped up right away also when we asked you. Um, cancer, as you can see, molecular and physiology mechanisms are involved in the development or regression of cancer. How can we develop treatments for neurological decline in an aging population? Exactly what you mentioned as well. Uh, new methods for diagnosing and analyzing genetic defects. Stem cell therapies, is this our future? Um, how is the biomedical knowledge best translated to actual treatment of patients? So from bench to bedside, all very exciting. And uh, you mentioned a lot of them, so you think there's a lot of going on that we can still study and have to study as well. And uh, what we like to uh, propose also to you is think about, would you like to address these issues as a scientist in or outside academics? Or would you like to address them as a policymaker, a communicator, or for example, as an educator? There are so many ways in which you can address these issues. So it's very important to think about your role in all those important questions uh, in the future. Um, so in order to think about it, you could do the Master Biomedical Sciences. We are a two-year full-time program, so that is 120 EC. Um, it's um, at the LMC, which is an academic medical center, and we have two starting dates. We have September and February. The language uh, is English, and there are also a maximum number of students that can, we can accommodate each year, and that is 100. The Leiden uh, University Medical Center, the LMC, well, they have uh, very important uh, uh, things to do. But we have, of course, we have patient care. We perform scientific research and education. And there are some facts, and maybe I think at the moment we even have more employees even. So around 7,000. We have a lot of students in a variety of programs, medicine, biomedical sciences, both bachelor and master, master pharmacy, master fatality and aging, and also a master and bachelor clinical technology. And recently we started a master program, population health management. So there's even more going on than on this slide. We have a lot of PhD students and also a lot of these PhD students graduate each year. 
So there's a lot of research going on as well in this uh, medical uh, center. Um, these med this, this research is uh, um, yeah, actually um, divided in a, a number of research themes in the LMC and we listed them here and there's a lot information can be found of course on the website of the LMC but you can see that a lot of these themes actually represent all the issues that you all came up with in our word cloud in our previous questions. So we saw, see cancer, we see immunity, we see medical genomics, uh, infection, um, neuroscience. So all these important fields are represented within the research of the LUMC. So it's a great place to be and a great place to perform research. Uh, as I mentioned already, it's a two-year program and it's very important to realize that the first year of the master is dedicated to biomedical sciences. So, and this first year is for all students. And what does this first year uh, entail? It, is, it starts with a couple of mandatory courses. Uh, first of all, a course on how to write a research proposal a course on uh, scientific conduct and a course, a four-week course on uh, statistics, R and uh, molecular epidemiology. So that's at the start of our program that we do perform, give you these um, basic courses where you learn a lot of inf important information that you take with you if you go more into the scientific part of our master program. And here there come uh, an opportunity to choose from all kinds of courses and also all kinds of subjects for a uh, research internship. And one of the things that we are very proud of in our master program is that we have a lot of so-called frontiers of science courses. And actually the name already implicates what we are doing because we, we, we move along at the frontiers of science and we teach you also where that frontier is. And that is taught by our researchers uh, in the LMC. So they tell you about the research that they perform. So exactly what it says at the frontiers of science. Usually there are four week courses and we have a, a lot of them and they are related to the research themes in the LMC. So that is a scientific deepening that we offered. So there's a whole list of themes. They have one or more frontiers of science courses and with variety of subjects is uh, uh, taught there. Uh, furthermore, for all that join the master program, there is a, a tw at least 20 week research internship, uh, so-called JRP1, Junior Research Project 1. So it's 20 weeks. I can even extend it in your elective area, but it's important to realize that even if you want to do a specialization, I will talk about that later, but you might have looked around on our website already that Although you might choose a specialization, like for example in, in, in management, that you still have to do perform a research internship. So that's something to keep in mind. So your first year is dedicated to research. We also have a, a small module which uh, runs along the whole master career orientation, where we try to help you think about your uh, development as a scientist, for example, or maybe whatever you would like to achieve and also reflection uh, assignments and some other stuff that we would like you to do to prepare yourself for the labor market. And there is an elective area of where you can choose uh, what you would like. The second year, that is the specialization year. And we have various specializations. So it's very important that to realize that within this program, um, you choose a specialization within the master. So all students graduate with a Master of Science uh, diploma. Whatever specialization you take, you get the same uh, diploma. So that's very important that within the master, you can choose your direction. And we have a research, management, communication, education, and we have a combination with uh, medicine. That is for students that are also enrolled in uh, the Master of Medicine in uh, Leiden. So it's important to realize that you have to be enrolled in that program in order to choose this specialization. So within the master, you have the opportunity to think in your first year, would you like to address issues as a scientist or uh, maybe in or outside academics or maybe rather as a policymaker, communicator or, for example, as an educator. So that is something that you th can think about during your first master year. So what are these specializations about? What are you doing if you, in your second year? Well, if you choose the research specialization, 
uh, you will follow a course in uh, a lab laboratory animal sciences. Uh, you will perform uh, a large internship, a research internship of at least 28, we 28 weeks. You will also write a proposal before the start and you can write a scientific review on a subject related to uh, the, your internship. And if you still have uh, ECTS to follow, you can choose uh, electives in or outside the LUMC. So that's completely focused at uh, research. If you're interested in going into the direction more of business or uh, management, then you follow uh, courses at the Faculty of Science. And that is a program that there's some variety, but there's a minimum of 15 EC. And there are also elective courses, so you obtain some business knowledge. You will perform an internship in the management direction, so that is completely different from a research uh, research internship, it's a business-related uh, projects uh, in companies or, or other organizations, you will write a proposal in order to perform that uh, internship and also you can still uh, spend some time on your electives. Well, a similar setup we have for communication specialization. Here, the program is organized by Science, Communication and Society, SCS, and it's also a program at the Faculty of Science, and students follow courses and they also perform an internship in the direction of communication. Education, well, it's, that's in Dutch, so you have to be able to uh, speak uh, Dutch. And then the pro program consists of courses and teaching biology at high school. And also they have, uh, I noticed, an information session. And when you do the Master Biomedical Sciences, in general, you obtain uh, the first grade uh, biology uh, uh, diploma. So in that direction. And again, as I mentioned, it's possible to combine the master uh, with a master uh, program in medicine in Leiden. And then also, of course, the Dutch language is required. And that consists of a research internship, clinical elective. Uh, so that's uh, important uh, to realize that that opportunity exists as well, but that you have to be enrolled in a master medicine in Leiden. So important, of, of course, is why would you choose biomedical sciences in Leiden? There are a lot of uh, biomedical sciences programs in the Netherlands and also outside the Netherlands, so there is a lot to choose from. And we have listed some uh, things that we think that might uh, make our uh, program unique. And we think the first of all, what we already mentioned is that we have different specializations, so you can make choices within the same master program. So at the start, you can think, well, I might want to do research, but even along the way, your first year, you can, might want to switch maybe to business or the other way around. Um, we aim to teach in small groups and, of course, individual training during your internships. As you saw in the program, we have a lot of uh, inter uh, time spent on internships, of course, then you work uh, in, uh, for, in a research group or maybe at a company in your second year or other organizations, so the training is pretty individual. Um, we consider our courses of high quality and also the research uh, in the LMC, but you're also allowed to do research outside the LMC. We think that it's of high quality, at least we aim uh, to have you, uh, we also check that for internships outside the LMC that we think the research is of high quality. There's a flexibility within our program. Uh, you can study multiple subjects, so it's not that you start out with just one subject, but we really aim uh, that you uh, study multiple subjects during your master program. We have modern research facilities in the LMC and there are also opportunities for students to go abroad again, fortunately, and we have uh, an exchange with uh, Heidelberg. So, for example, there's an opportunity to spend uh, summer uh, in, in Heidelberg, so that's also really a, a nice opportunity. And uh, we think we have a very broad focus on career orientation in and outside academics. So we think that is also one of the highlights of our program. And of, you might have looked up where Leiden uh, is and also maybe it's popped up that there are good op job opportunities because we are located in the Leiden Biosci Bioscience Park. Uh, I think one of the largest bioscience park, I guess, in the world even. So uh, it might, it's a good place uh, to be. Um, flexible program, what does this mean? Um, you will start together, so this is for a start in September and of, uh, as we will explain later on, at this moment it's also the, the time or to start thinking about the start in September 2023. 
So this is an example from uh, last September where you can see that we start with uh, the three uh, compulsory courses, as I mentioned. So the, you start with the whole group, uh, how to write a research proposal, a scientific co co conduct course, and of course the, the big course on statistics. And as you can see, it's programmed in such a way that we just uh, pay attention to one uh, course at the, uh, at, the, at the same time. So it's not like three courses at the same time, but just uh, a module and then you finish the model and then you start with the next, um, next module. And after all these uh, compulsory courses, uh, usually uh, students uh, decide to, uh, to think about their choice of frontiers of uh, science courses. And as you can see, we offer a variety of courses. And this is just an example. And that is what offered in uh, October, November. You, you see, you recognize we have virology, we have immunology, we have uh, chemical biology, imaging. So it's a cardiovascular research. So, so there's a, a huge variety in subjects that uh, related again to these themes in the LMC that we offer. And uh, students choose from uh, what, uh, what we offer because these courses are small scale. So usually it's a maximum of 15 to 20 students that uh, participate in these courses. And then uh, further along the year, we have more courses that, but uh, most of the students try to take their coursework uh, in the first semester. So in your first year, the timing of your research internship is flexible because you can decide when you want to finish your coursework. Uh, you can also break an internship for a course, for example. So there are a lot of opportunities there. <coughs> it's very important to realize that, of course, it needs some planning. It's not that we uh, decide for you what you will take, but that you have to plan your, your year yourself and we have uh, when you're admitted to the master, we have multiple uh, online information sessions to help you plan the master. Um, so you can still decide on your specialization, as we already mentioned, in during your first year or even at the beginning of your second year. And, you know, orientate on what's going on and make a decision uh, upon your information. And in parallel, we have career orientation and we also offer some short elective courses as well. Uh, of course, important as we have a maximum capacity of 100 students, admission and selection is of course a very important uh, part. Yes. So, um, well, all the information uh, pertaining to uh, our admission requirements can be found on our <coughs> website, of course. Important, very important is the deadline for uh, application is April 1st, 2023. So if you want to start next September, next year, you have to apply before the 1st of April. And if you need a visa or you want to uh, have a scholarship, please check the deadlines for that because they're usually earlier than the application deadlines for a master. And you can submit your application uh, via StudyLink. Uh, the URL is uh, shown over there. And then uh, we have a maximum of 100 uh, places each year. So if there's more applications, we will perform a selection placement uh, procedure. And, uh, well, time-wise, you will hear around the beginning of May whether or not you are conditionally ad admitted. So that's the first step. The, our Board of Admissions will check your applications to see if you meet our entry requirements. And then we'll perform a selection procedure in May if necessary. And you will hear by the end of May, beginning of June, uh, whether or not we can offer you a place in our master. Um, there's also a room for... Um, those of you who have done their bachelor at the HBO instelling. So you can um, get a place in our master, but only after following a pre-master, which is a program of one year. And this only starts in September. Again, please look our, on our website for uh, the exact information, but you can uh, submit your application for this uh, also through StudyLink, but then you don't uh, apply for the master, but you apply for the bachelor uh, biomedische wetenschappen and you choose the option not first year. The deadline is the same, it's April 1st, 2023. Also here we have a limited number of places each year, so uh, most likely we will have to perform a selection procedure again to see who we can place and who we cannot in first instance. Timing will be pretty much the same, so we'll, we'll uh, notify you whether you're not admissible uh, as soon as possible and then we'll perform the selection placement procedure in May and hope to give you an answer by the end of May. 
The good news is if you have uh, uh, been allowed to start with this pre-master program and you successfully complete it, you are guaranteed a place in our master. So you don't have to uh, be submitted to another selection placement round. If you successfully complete this pre-master, you are guaranteed to start our master the next year, the next uh, year. So in this case, that would mean 2024. And then a little bit about the entry requirements. So first, it's about knowledge. Um, so we uh, expect you to have knowledge, understanding and skills in uh, a number of subjects, uh, specifically molecular biology, immunology, pathology, neuroscience and statistics. And then also a very important entry requirement is um, research experience and a practical laboratory experience. So the laboratory experience can be gained either in courses or during your internship. And with the research project, we want you to have done a more or less independent uh, project during your bachelor, uh, where you uh, investigate a specific research question. And also, um, those of you who are, uh, who are mainly for international students, you have to have a certain lev level of English, uh, demonstrated by, for instance, an IELTS test. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so it's very important to realize that you do not miss the deadline, basically. That is, yeah, uh, and all the information will be posted on our website, so you can go through it. And, uh, and of course, very important, after graduation, so you have, were able to be uh, uh, admitted to the master, you did all what we asked you to do, and you graduated, so it's very important what to do after graduations. Well, what we see is that, uh, and I think the numbers are even better at this moment, that 75% uh, within six months and approximately 90% in a year. I think at the moment we saw, that, uh, we had a, a survey and that approximately 90% of the uh, graduates had a, had a job within six months. So you can imagine that uh, at the moment in overall in life sciences, uh, the, the, jo the job market is pretty good. Um, what we also see is that still a, a majority of our students uh, also, we see that also the students choose the research specialization, that about 60% of the students choose uh, for, chose for a PhD position, and that can be a PhD position in the LMC, it can be in the Netherlands, but also abroad. So we still see that a lot of students are interested in following that direction. But we also see that students are interested in positions uh, outside academics, so in a research environment, for example, in a company. And then you have all kinds of junior positions in uh, the pharmaceutical industry, uh, startups, or for, exa or for example, at consultancies, and we also see that students are interested in those posi uh, positions. And we also occasionally see uh, positions opening up in uh, policy making, for example, in uh, ministries institutions or patients organizations so uh, that's also what we see and then of course there are also junior positions in the area of communication for example in uh, museums so that's also options or combined with teaching or teaching uh, at uh, high school as well and we have uh, some uh, short uh, movies on our website uh, so check those out the alumni stories uh, on the website so you hear from them and uh, in various specialization and what they are doing now so it gives you an idea about uh, the possibilities with this master program but of course there are uh, a lot of opportunities out there just want to show you this slide that uh, of course we mentioned the website so that's always up to date and look there for uh, information that you need um, you can mail us, we have a, a, mail, a master BMS at uh, lmc.nl, then we can answer all your questions and so just mail us there. And also very importantly, if you want to start in April, as, uh, before April, uh, uh, apply for before April uh, 1st, uh, 2023, there will be online and on-campus information uh, in February and March. Well, by joining this session, you are, will be on our mailing list, so you will uh, also receive follow-up but you can always check the announcements on the website of the uh, university and the LMC. So you can join us there uh, if you want to, if you have more specific questions. Uh, and a start in September 2023 is then uh, coming nearer, so you might have more questions uh, then than at this moment. So thank you very much uh, for joining us today. Come to our Q&As and hear uh, stories from our students and uh, then they can tell you more and then you can ask them why they chose uh, Leiden. So thank you again and uh, maybe see you um, in February or March.
or in our uh, mailbox. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.